share on Facebook. Appearing on Fox News Monday, Vice President Mike Pence ripped into ABC News as out of touch in response to the views Joy Behar attacking his Christian faith as mental illness. Those of us in public life are pretty accustomed to criticism. But when I heard that ABC had a program that likened my Christianity to mental illness, Pence said he just couldn't be silent. My Christian faith is probably the most important thing in my life. I do try and start every day reading the Bible. My wife and I try and have a prayer together before I leave the house every morning, Pence said, before explaining why ABC News is so out of touch, but I do think I'm a very typical American. People of all different faith, traditions, cherish their faith in God. And to have ABC have a forum that spoke in such demeaning terms, I think it's evidence of how out of touch some in the mainstream media are with the faith and values of the American people. The vice president did not mention Beher by name, but he was responding to the far left view co-host's bigoted comments from last week where she said of Pence, it's one thing to talk to Jesus. It's another thing when Jesus talks to you. That's called mental illness, if I'm not correct, hearing voices. Referring to Pence's rules about not dining alone with women out of respect for his wife, which was widely ridiculed throughout the corporate media, Beher said, my question is, can he talk to Mary Magdalene when his wife isn't in the room? Sherry Shepard, one of Beher's left-wing co-hosts who says she is a Christian, also piled on using her apparent insight into how the length of one's conversation with Jesus can differentiate between the faithful and the mentally ill. You know, Joy, as a Christian, Shepard said, that's just par for the course. You talk to Jesus. Jesus talks back. What concerns me is how long is the conversation with Jesus? Within the mainstream media, one of the last forms of accepted and open bigotry are attacks against Christians and Christianity. For instance, had Beher described a Muslim as mentally ill for speaking to Allah, she would have been terminated before the show ended. It is, however, open season in the corporate media when it comes to meaning, marginalizing, and othering Christians especially those who do not rewrite the Bible to gain acceptance from the media on issues such as homosexuality and abortion. Incredibly, The View is not an ABC network entertainment program. It is produced as part of ABC News, right alongside World News Tonight, Nightline, and 2020. Last week, ABC News faced widespread criticism for normalizing and romanticizing the slave state of North Korea. On its website, ABC News republished an app article that claimed Pence was upstaged in part by Kim Yo-jong, who was all smiles at the opening of the Winter Olympics. Kim Yo-jong is the sister of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un and the director of her murderous brother's propaganda campaigns. Along with the rest of her family, she oversees that country's concentration camps. But nowhere were her human rights atrocities mentioned in a 950-word story that berated Pence for not glad-handing with a country that has promised to nuke the United States and is working aggressively to achieve the means to do so. Back in December, ABC News refused to correct a fake news report that claimed Mike Flynn, Trump's former national security adviser, had been directed by Trump to reach out to the Russians during the campaign. After it was discovered that the report was a lie, rather than retract or correct, ABC News would only clarify. ABC News is widely seen as a left-wing, pro-Clinton-slash-Obama news outlet, not only due to its biased coverage in fake news, but its deep personal ties to each. Ben Sherwood, a higher-ranking executive within ABC, is the brother of Elizabeth Sherwood Randall, who was one of Obama's top national security advisors. One of the biggest stars at ABC News, George Stephanopoulos, is a longtime Clintonista. He was not only part of Bill and Hillary Clinton's 1992 presidential campaign and administration, but during the 2016 presidential campaign, without disclosing his $750,000 donations to the now discredited organization, Stephanopoulos defended the Clinton Foundation from credible charges of self-enrichment and pay-for-play. ABC News is also owned by the Walt Disney Company, whose chairman, Bob Iger, is a far-left Democrat and major fundraiser. Share on Facebook.